Liam Mortis here with Maxfield's win at the Tenacious Stakes at the fairgrounds. Maxfield looks like a true champion in this race. He looked like he's ready to come back. Looks like he's looks like he's not hurting at all anymore. Be turning four here in a week or so. Brendan Walsh, the trainer, had him ready. Tenacious Stakes is a. I think it could have been a Grade Three race. It wasn't, but it should have been. At the fairgrounds. If you've ever been to the fairgrounds, you know it's a really nice place. It's a nice place to be for horse racing. Maxfield showed plenty of speed, which some people was concerned with early speed, but going a mile sixteenth and uh, the leader went twenty four and, and three, forty eight and four, six furlongs and one twelve and two. Maxfield won the race on, on the one sixteenth, one and one sixteenth mile, one forty three and two. Pretty good for fairgrounds. That's a pretty good, pretty good time right there. I just think Maxfield, which is one of my favorites, he just looks like a champion. I've said this before, but he, he's out of street sense. Who's out of street cry? The mare, mare side is, is out of Bernardini super horse. Street sense. Won the Kentucky Derby in 2007. Jim Dandy. 2000, in 2006, he won the Breeders' Cup. Beat Curlin in the Derby, that is, too, in that year. Ran second in the Preakness. Maxfield kind of looked like it made it look easy. Maxfield looked real good on the turn. He looked like he was in control. And then when he hit the stretch, he tucked the lead. Moved off. With, didn't even look like he was pressured at all. But the Sonoman ran second. That's a tough horse itself. Sonoman's out of Curlin. He'll probably be heading for the Pegasus itself. Sonoman looked real good himself. Um, he was running real good late, and he might have had a little trouble. I don't think he really had trouble. I just think he just couldn't get to the winner. He's going to improve. He looked real good. Get back to Maxfield. To me, it looked like he was just in a prep race or something. He looked really good. I'm hoping he's headed for the Pegasus. That would be the ideal place for Maxfield, in my opinion, or at least as a fan, it would be the ideal place. He might, he might need a better spot for him. Pegasus, as a fan, that'd be a perfect spot for him. But I don't know about the trainer. He he might might bring him on a little slower. But I think Maxfield really is ready to make a real good showing as a four year old, as one of the top horses. Maxfield was a favorite, a heavy favorite. I think like one to two or something, and couldn't really make no money on him in short field like it was. But uh, some really tough horses in that race. Well, good luck, everybody.